started Paws Animal Rescue uh, 10 years ago this year with my mother. Background noise is part of the furniture. Um, we started taking in abandoned and abused dogs locally in Kildare where my mother lived and we just took them into, we had kennels at the back of her house. And it sort of snowballed, it's domino effect set in and we had people ringing us from all over the country. And suddenly we just, we, we had got to the stage where we ended up having 30, 40 dogs at a time for rehoming. Uh, we take the dogs in usually if they're found on the side of the road or they're in dog pounds. We have them neutered, vaccinated, microchipped, wormed, and then we rehome them. A lot of our dogs go to the UK. Uh, a lot of our greyhounds go to homes in Italy and Sweden and Germany. And uh, we do an awful lot of work with retired greyhounds as well. That's, that's my favourite passion. But uh, I mean, at the moment now we have 76 dogs and 35 or 36 of them are greyhounds. So that's usually half, at least half of them are greyhounds or lurchers, which are. You saw a few lurchers here today. They're actually anything cross with a greyhound. It's called a lurcher. Today is our annual sponsored walk. We call it the Paw Trek. And we always had it in the Phoenix Park every year. Now last year we didn't because we were in the throes of building and we really missed it. And people were giving out saying, where is the Paw Trek? But it's very much dependent on A, the weather, and B, the time of year. Because we, we used to hold it in August and people were gone on holidays. We tried July and it was too hot and this year we tried June and it's rained so some year we're going to get it right but it usually brings in a couple of grand for the rescue centre and it's desperately needed money. I mean that will, I got a vet's bill yesterday for the month of May from the vet in Clown Island that was for €3,100 so I mean and that has to be paid before next month you know so I mean it's, it's all the time. I mean I, I hate to talk about money but I have to because I mean the, the phone bill alone is €600, Euro, the electricity bill is 530 and you're sort of trying to pay and in the meantime I'm getting the letter from the TV license inspector telling me my TV license is out of date since February. I feel like telling him what to do because I have far more important bills to pay and people they just don't seem to understand that you have to pick and choose which one. It's like it's when they ring up and say your phone is going to be cut off tomorrow then you have to pay the phone bill and with ESB when you get the dirty letter then you, that week you pay the ESB bill and the vets are very patient I have to say. They know that they're sort of halfway down the list but they, they will never turn away a sick dog just because of money. I mean, they're very good at that. They know they get paid eventually. Yeah. In 1999, so we have her about seven years. She was about six months old when we got her. Okay. Very sad. Very, very thin. But uh, to watch her weight. Uh, well, we saw it advertised and we were looking for a dog, so we decided to uh, we have a look at Paws because it was, well, it was nearby. Yeah. So we went down and it was a hard decision to pick the bone but uh, she picked us <laughs> that was the way it was <laughs> uh, his name we haven't really decided yet but we called him Marlon Brando <laughs> don't know because he's a superstar he looks like a superstar <laughs> and when did you get him? we got him today he came from Ashton Pound I can't remember if he was a surrender or if he was uh, found as a stray but he came in the day before yesterday and uh, yeah, we got him out today. And he's trying to find a home for him. Yeah, well, he has a home waiting. He's going to Sweden next Thursday. So he's flying out. We just need to get him neutered and vaccinated and get the passport ready, and then he's off.